Excellency the Governor, Your Excellency the Deputy Governor, uh, leadership yote of the county, elected MCAs led by our MCA and our head teacher and your board. Na wanafunzi, I'm Jambo. I'm Jambo Tena. Your Excellency, let me take this opportunity kukupongeza for delivering on this kitchen. Uh, unajua tulikuwa hapa na wewe sometime tumeimbiwa ilikuwa muhula wa pili so in some time uh, three months or so ago when we came and launched the project and uh, today tumekuja tukaona it is complete na nataka kupongeza the entire county for the job well done here governor in Embakasi West we have 11 primary schools uh, three secondary schools na mimi kwa bahati Nilikuwa na connection chini ya maji kidogo. Leo naeza revealed. Nilitafta waziri silantoi. Nikawambia nimeona kitchen zangu siko phase 2. E, wakati ulianza hile ya phase 1, ukaanza kuingine nikashindwa woi, nitawai fikiwa kweli. But she was able to deliver food to all 11 schools at least by the beginning of second term. So hata wakati atukuwa na kitchen, ile kitu ni tulikuwa tunakula bottom layer. From today, si watoto wa umoja wan muko hapa leo. From today, top layer iko hapa umoja wan. Then kutoka hapo inaanza kuzunguka hizi wad zingine zetu. Na si tunashukuru sana. So I think this is something that uh, we've been waiting. Mjue pia, at a certain point, governor, you'll have to think now about the upbeat schools the private schools, I think, hapo sasa ni mahali utaanza kuangalia. Because we have so many of those schools that are hapa in Umoja, eh, and, and, so, and Nairobi generally. But I'm grateful that at least our schools, eh, eh, tumepata yo chakula, and more importantly, we are able to ensure that our attendance, because I am a witness to that issue, that the attendance of our total has been quite high because of that issue. Um, Ronaldo but I want to appreciate so many of the things that the county has done, especially in our award in Umoja One. Ronaldo Sazgina na Batika na Uma Kubwa Sana Sazine na Mwambi Akipata Nyama Kubwa na Wachilia ni Peleke Ward in Gine Sazingine. He's been able to deliver on quite a number of roads that mean he kind of concentrate even on other words. Although to Lifanya Pewa na e hapa, but uh Naraku Pongez at least the job that uh, they've done including the borehole, because we managed to secure two boreholes. I think water cut Patia borehole hapa na Nairobi County. Ya Nairobi County mekuja mapema, so we'll have to decide where we are going to take the Athi water borehole, which is going to come uh, a bit later on. Uh, also, kuna maneno ya classrooms that will be increasing uh, classrooms, which we've begun in all our schools uh, within Embakasi West, including here in Omoja 1, which we are going to bring. That is something we've partnered with the government. But, uh, Governor, there's a concern I have. He, Mambo National Government, kusema watapatiana one million ya kujenga classroom. Miss Juni classroom gani ya one million neza jengwa in Nairobi. Because if they build, watajenga kama ile enye hayendi gorofa. And we don't have space for that. So that is something that we need even uh, to sit down. Even ECD, as the MCAs, Ronaldo kijenga classroom zako, make sure ni za gorofa. Otherwise, to talk to space yet we pungue upper. So that is something I think in Nairobi, and there's funding. Unfortunately, we cannot build ECD classrooms, but uh, we'll be able to, to increase the capacity for our Nafunzi Ambao Mawaletea Chakula. Also, uh, we have a project uh, which I want to thank the county uh, for agreeing with Batia Shamba. Yeah, to construct an assistant uh, chief's office that is going to start uh, also as we start the classrooms here. Na nashukuru mweshmoa Ronaldo because iyo facility umesikia mesema. We are co-sharing. In fact, Governor, I'm grateful because in Molem also we have quite a number of projects that we are going to be partnering together with the county and NGCDF, uh, including a, a TVET that I'm proposing there, a police station that I'm proposing on that side to be able to boost the security. This area is an easy police post in Dogondogo. And uh, I'm sure that is something that uh, we are going to 
work on and, uh, and improve on the same. Here, we have other projects that are touching on Athi Water. Uh, Governor Athi Water have a program in partnership with the French government. In Asi and Bakasi West, we have about 260 million. They are Siwa upgrade. doing is going to relieve the pressure that is in Molem, Ilo Meskia, the MCA has mentioned here, uh, so that Siwa ya umoja yache kuingia wode ya Molem. That is something that really, and also it relieves zile, kuna kati kukinyesha huku nasikia masiwa zina lipuka lipuka. So that is going to improve uh, the situation that we have here. Uh, Governor, we also need some intervention between uh, your team, your county, your lands, ya roads on a road ya SDA road SDA road ni barabara na faifanywa na kura but because of various court cases and 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 there is a place the county is mentioned in there in those court cases we need to agree on what is the leeway ya hiyo shamba ndio tujue because hata hapo ndani ndio kuna ndio kuna collection point yetu ya garbage and I want to thank you because juzi ulituma malori na zimeondoa garbage from quite a number of these areas but we need to agree on that road so that because your Barabara can really open up Umoja uh, 1, Inako, Umoja 2, and those court cases news not to Sumbua. So it's something that we need to work between Kura and the county so that uh, we can be able to sort that issue. Mwishma um, Ronaldo, Pia Aba, Menekumbusha, Kuna Shamba Mbaiko already grabbed, Ilikuwa grabbed Pale Tena. I believe that is in your office. There's a petition to recover that. And it can be an area where we can do some, some open market or whatever Ronaldo will decide as the county. So that as we look for opportunities for our youths, Nakina Mama, our Ezek Fanya Kazi Lab. Governor Pia, I want to thank uh, your, your lands team. As G's, you come and I think see where Uko Uko, Amakuna Mutumuingine. But at least he process your titles ni meona in a make a move. Kidogo kidogo. Na me governor want to encourage you. Usiogope be bold. Kuja mole mtu peane titles changuvu. Tuwapatia hao watu wale where there are no cases. We'll be able to solve that issue. Uko sisi uko kituitisha hata hiyo 30,000. We are ready to talipa hiyo pesa. So that we can ensure our people get titles. Hata hapa umoja utabada kuna watu wa meishi uko for so long. And that, that process I know is somewhere inaenda kuisha. If we can just finalize on that issue, uh, we can be able to sort it out. Um, before I proceed, I wanted to introduce uh, my members wa watu wenye wanafanya kwangu kwa constituency, led by the constituency manager, Ebus Mama Kidogo, kama nini wale ni staffs wangu, wanyo wangu kwa ofisi, uh -huh. uh, nikona CDF team, uh, okay, wanyo wa ofisi wa wave two, Wenye ni wakera na wawev pia. Wenye ni wa CDF pia wawev. Na because the more introduced for one reason. Kopio wendi o chairman wa CDF. Na sujika ma fund manager amekuja. That is the fund manager. Can we make a commitment here? 2024-2025 financial year. Tutakuwa na basi ya umoja wana. So can we make sure we get that bus? Iyo si tumekubaliana. Iyo sasa nyi watoto muwate kunikimbisha mbio. Last time mulinikimbisha mbio sana pande ile. I know that issue of the bus and that's why I need the, the CDF committee. Kindly let us work on that in the next financial year so that we can be able to do that. Allow me to recognize security. Niliona watu chief. Okay, kepia nilikuona hapo. Na niliona your assistant chief wa umoja wan. Uh, I think niliona pia OCPD mahali. OCPD wetu, Bwana Kamau. Uh, I think pia alikuwa area. Uh, asante sana Bwana OCPD. Kwa ile kazi unatufanyia, niliona nisiwaache. Um, governor nataka kukushukuru sana because there is the issue of uh, of the field that has been addressed 
na i think hiyo wale watoto walikuwa naongea hapa siku nyingine hatutaki wapige magoti tena si ndio hiyo governor atakuja ataiongelelea hapa so that we can be able to sort out uh, that issue and make sure watoto wetu wamesoma also i want to request the county and the security eh, bwana kama uko hapa na county kuna hii bridge yetu yenye inakuwaga hapa mtindwa every time tunaweka mata zinatolewa hapo we have some people who are doing business there na kuwaga nimewaachilia but if they are the ones causing a security problem mimi leo nimeachilia kama mtasema waondoke au ndo wanatuharibia hiyo problem county by all means hiyo maneno muangalie because that is a concern that is causing uh, insecurity for us there and i know selin uh, you can look into that issue together with your command uh, your commander anaitwaje tom pamoja na 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 bwana uh, kamao yangu governor i don't know want to say much because mengi meongelewa mimi nimekuwa na na a lot of time by, with the people around here but uh, one of the things that nataka kuwaomba ni kwamba you know governor last year wengine wetu tulikuwa eh, kwa azimio tulikuwa tuna demonstrate nilikuwa tuna eh, kwa maandamano mimi nilikuwa kwa hiyo maandamano in fact nilikuwa natembea na anticipatory boy bail hapa kwa mfuko ndio wakiniuma eh, ni, niweze kujisaidia mataacha alikuwa hapo i think mnakumbuka hiyo wakati and you know this year we had the same issue we had an issue of a finance bill ambao wananchi walituambia wengine tuanguke nayo tukajaribu hiyo maneno but i want to send some caution najua mimi nilikuwa kisumu the other day governor kwa mkubwa wangu anaitwa Wandai. Wandai was my boss. Wakati alitangazwa waziri, hiyo ilinipata off guard. Wengine nilijua lakini yake sikujua. Nikaangalia nikajua kweli hii siasa. Ule mtu alituambia tuweke kwa land, hakukosea. Ule mtu juzi nikiwa huko kisumu, nimekaa na Mandago. Nikaambia Mandago, kaa kuna mtu anafaa patiwe mic ni wewe. Ndio waambie wa Kenya kumbe tumegundua hii kitu tunakuwaka tunapigana bure then baadaye mnapata watu wamekaa pamoja I want to ask our Nairobi MCAs because iko maneno tumekuwa tukisikia huko Mimi niko bunge ninajua what has been happening in Meru County Najua nyinyi pengine mmekatalia hapa And Meru hiyo mambo imekuwa ikiendelea huko Meru you can destabilize our county to we are no longer focused on maendeleo So that is one thing I want to request. Hata sisi kuna my impeachment zingine tu. Nyi watu wa UDM likuwa mnaleta bunge. Sijui nani mnataka kutoa. Sasa tena mmegeuka, mmerudi tena. I want to request you tafadhali. Let us put Nairobi first. Let us focus because hata mimi hapa mbakasi wes nilikuwa kina Ronaldo atakuwa team moja nao na na Nairobi. But we got to a place we figured sisi ndio tutaumia. We must be able to put our constituency together we put the interests za embakasi west pamoja so that we can be we can ensure tuweze ku deliver for for our constituency so mimi nitawaambia ile siasa mnataka kuleta huko we have bigger issues governor we have issues such as the fires that zimekuwa zikitupata and i want to commend your officer called uh, Bramwell huyo nikimpigia simu hata saa 5 usiku saa 7 anashika simu yangu He is able to respond even the fires unfortunately kuna ile to lose uh, two people pale but at least you respond ile kitu ni encourages you need to have more hydrants za za maji so even as we put this ibo hola pa i'm hoping godo weke hydrant ya ku connect maji lori sikuwa ti inaendea maji mahali if there is a way inaweza pata maji hapa umoja wangu so that we can respond a bit faster on that issue I also want to request Ibra because we ulinisaidia mambo ya environment iko barabara zile ziko. Sasa si lazima nasumbua governor. Kuja kuna barabara ziko hapa inako. Yenye hata Ronaldo ananiandikia message hapa. I mentioned to you. Na ile kiwanda ambayo iko pale KCC ya Lami kindly put it to good use but sisi tumekuambia 30% lorries kitoka tatu moja linaishika mguu na iwacha mpaka si west inatufanyia kalami kidogo 
Those are the things that we are hoping we can be able to do together with the county. Otherwise, Governor, I nataka kuongea zaidi hapo. Nataka nikupongeze sana for the job that you've done, the job that we've done with the county. Na niombe hawa watoto wetu. Si sasa chakula imekuja. Watoto mko hapo. Si mnajua last time nilisema tu, lazima tushinde BD. Mwalimu si tati za wa competitor. My governor, when I was here last time during the AGM, wazazi, nasujui kama wazazi wako hapa, kuna wazazi wa umoja wanu. Leo wajakuja wazazi, ni moja. Muna kumbuka AGM, haa watoto walitisha basi, njini muna itisha ablution block. Sasa, kama mwana siyasa idea li njindi onafani sikize ju njindi omkona kura. Lakini hii ndi ojenzi na kimbiza watu. So, wacha to deal now, na I'm sure governor amekubali, to gawane hizi shita kidogo, so that we can be able to take our constituency forward. Otherwise, kwa hayo mengi na machache, asanti sana, eh, akumali wendo narudishi ya program. Asanti sana and may God bless you all. Thank you very much. Asanti sana wa waishimiwa, uh, mwishimiwa governor, naomba uniperuhusa tu ni introduce uh, wale ofisa wetu ambao wanafanya kazi hapa Nairobi hapa Embakasi West wakiongozwa na sub county administrator tafadhali nisimameni pamoja na timu yako timu yote ya Embakasi West ambayo iko hapa leo so wako hapo tuwapigie ni makofi hao ndio wanatushikilia hapa na ndio wanafanya kazi hapa wako maod administrator wako sub county administrator wako commander na wengine asante ni mtukae chini sasa mheshimiwa The Governor of Nairobi City County, Governor Sakaja, the Member of Parliament for this area, Mwishimwe Mwenje, the MCA for this area, Roro, Mwaziri Wetu, Watu wa County, na Chief Officers, na Ogandi Wote ambao wa meali kwa hapa, Langu, Yangu ni Mafupi. Na yangu ni kumwalika uh, governor wetu aje atuongeleshe ndi watuambia mambo ya hii dish na county na vile anaendeleza mpango kwenda mbele. But before I do that, I'd like to say uh, one or two things. Um, the first thing is that this program, e program ya dish na county, wakati tulikuwa tunazunguka tunatafuta count, uh, kura huku, tukasema tutapatia watoto chakula, wakati huo tulijua shule ni za... Uh, national government and his excellency you went and spoke to the national government and the national government uh, signed off those schools so that you can run the program to feed our children because you understood that without feeding these children anything we are doing with education was not going to be successful and I want to thank you for that vision I want to thank you for being able to actually get that done and not only that to now see the completion of 17 uh, kitchens from which uh, all these our children will get served. And I think that is a clear manifestation of a promise made and a promise kept. And that is what you want to see in our county. That's what you want to see in Nairobi. That is what you want to see in all the things that you have said we'll do. And when you look at the delivery of our services with the people that we work with, the people from the county, um, the chief officers, the waziris, the directors, and everybody else, they have very clear mandate, the sub-county administrators, they have very clear mandate of what they need to deliver for us. This is the government structure that delivers the promises we made in our manifesto. And I want to ask all of us to support them, to make sure that they are successful, to make sure that they deliver, including our honorable members of the county assembly, to support the administration so that the things we want to do in creating a city of order and dignity, hope and opportunities for all, those things are achieved. They cannot be achieved by one part of the government or not working with the other. They cannot be achieved with people wanting to do things outside what is the standard uh, process and procedure. And we need to support uh, efficiency in service delivery in every single part that we want to do. I, want, I, I know the, the, the children are restless because we have had many 
speech is going, but I want to encourage all of us to do our best. Always to do our best, and then when you know better, you do better. That's my Angelo, uh, in terms of encouraging people to keep incrementally uh, improving on what they do. Uh, with those very few words, I would like to ask you all to be upstanding as we welcome His Excellency, the Governor of Nairobi City County, to come and address us, Your Excellency.